Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring... Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing with that. Hey, man, I got my guy here today, y'all. Y'all, hey, he really don't need an introduction if y'all really love music and been listening to what he been doing, man, on the scene. I, I found it, man. He was standing behind a mic. Uh, uh, wrapped with a blue bandana, I believe. I don't know. I remember seeing it, though. I don't know if he walked out the store or something and came up and a mic just fell. I don't know. But my boy, man, Big Extra Plug is in the building. Yes, sir. I hear what, what it is, what it is. Man, Big in the building, man, man, Big Extra Plug, man. I, you know, I'm the type of dude, man, that when I see something special, man, I try to gravitate to it, you know. Mm-hmm. And I don't wait for everybody else either. You know what I'm saying? When sure. I remember when I heard Erica Banks, it was my, my son, he was like, check out dad. I said, okay. I heard, I said, man, let me go on it. I hit her up. Mm-hmm. Told her you're doing a great job. I said, you're going to be special. Just stay humble. And uh, she hit me back. Thank you so much. This is, in the, see, in the beginning. See, when you jump out there in the beginning, before anything happens. That's what I mean the most. And they, yeah, then I can hit back later on like I did and say, hey, girl, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Because it's oh, real. Yeah, yeah, understood. I, and, and so I, I, when I heard you for the first time, I told my son, you get that dude over. It wasn't about a few weeks back, wasn't it? About a couple, about a month. So you get that nigga to me, man. Call that nigga, man. I need to talk to that cat, man. Yeah, we were supposed to bend link. Yeah, know, but you had other man. things going on. Yeah, understood. But, uh, yeah, just get him a little bit, uh, Miss Jamaica. <laughs> no, um, you know, we here at Boss Talk love to know your backstory. Mm-hmm. Love to know who you are before the rap music as a child growing up. Where you from, siblings, mm-hmm. mom, dad, all of that. So sure. give us a little bit. Uh, for sure, I'm from uh, Pleasant Grove, but I I don't even like to jump in. I'm from Dallas, Texas, because <laughs> when it come to all of this, I'm putting on for the whole Dallas, Texas. That's awesome. So I'm from Dallas. Uh, my pops he from the country. He from Greenville, Commerce, Texas. Mm-hmm. My mom she from Houston. So you uh, raised with your mom and dad? Uh, not together. I mean, okay. Like part of it was my. It, my dad, then my mom, then once I got too. But bad, they were both were yeah. involved. Oh, when you got too bad. Yeah, I got too bad, and then my mom had to just. She couldn't do it no more. She you couldn't, she couldn't knock you over the head no more. Yeah. <laughs> the licks didn't hurt. The whoopings nah, nah, didn't hurt no more. Like you look at mama, mama, you can't beat me no more. It don't make no sense. But it wasn't even that. It was just, I was, I was doing stuff no normal nine-year-old was doing. Uh, Not at nine? Yeah, nine like what? Give me an example. Me, me. Give me an example. Trying to go into little stores with BB guns, trying to rob the BB. Yeah. Mm. yeah <laughs> having to sit down. They looking at me like, what, is, what you doing? So, yeah, we was on that type of time, but. I always wonder about that when you see kids um, end up in those situations. Is it looking back now because you're older? Do you think it was because of your environment, or do you think it because your dad wasn't in the house with you, or you know why did you end up doing those things? Definitely my environment. Environment. My, I mean, my mom she had a lot of stuff going on, so I was just outside. And when you're outside, you you know it's your environment. So mm-hmm. what they had going is what I wanted to have going, and so. I don't want to say I was a follower, but I was young. Right. Nine, yeah. So I didn't know. I'm okay. just seeing what everybody else was doing. And at nine, were you dibbling, dabbling in music at that time? No. No? I never, never was nothing about music. Never, ever. What did you want to be at nine? I wanted to be a football player. Mm. Okay. All the way up until 18, 19, 20. Because were you always, like, as a child, were you always, like, the tallest, the biggest? Yeah, always. Beat my everybody pop, up. I got, uh, on my pop's side, he has six kids. I'm the oldest. I got a sister that's like three months younger than me. She's my same size. Mm. I got a brother. Well, I got another sister. She's like two years younger than us. She's the same size. I have a brother that just turned 18. He's the same size. So he comes from your daddy's side of the yeah, family. Yeah, my dad's 6'8", 300-something pounds. Wow. Yeah, so... I was supposed to go. You <laughs> supposed to go to the to NFL. Go. This yeah, nigga, was man, he was focused on something. And why do you think you didn't go? Uh, I went to school. Went to Minnesota. I was in college, and I just and you got a scholarship for football, went, but yeah. I got homesick, got bored, started smoking. The rest is history. The rest is history. It's always that because we know somebody else who came on here and 
whenever he got homesick. He got homesick. That was Austin, and he went got homesick, and he he was like top notch in basketball. Basketball. Yeah, and um, he came back home, got a girl pregnant, and stuff like that, and it was you know. Yeah, be like that too. Man, Mm -hmm. I said a lot of people go down like that. Mm -hmm. The amount is I don't really. It's how you happen. But if you had to go back to that point in time when you were away. What would you tell yourself? Would you still do what you did and be where you are now, or would you? I mean, I wouldn't change nothing because if that wouldn't happen, I wouldn't be right here where I'm at right now. Okay. So, I so mean, you don't be like, oh, I wish I had st- stuck with football because I knew I would have been in the NFL right now. I, I listened to my dad do that my whole life. Man, if if I would have did this, I would have been here. If I would have did uh, it happened, I'm glad it happened because now I'm here. Now That's I can cool. make something else happen for the rest of my family. So. You see what I like about that? You know, because people who keep on living on the what if, I wish, they Mm -hmm. tend to live in the past and not really pay attention to the future and where they're going. Because if you keep looking back, you can never look forward. Exactly. You know, the Bible says you can't look back without running into something. Something. Mm -hmm. So you got to you got to keep your eye focused. It's like a person who's shooting for a bullseye. They, you know, when they're shooting for the target, trying to hit the mark, mm-hmm. they sure. basically, once you miss the mark, you don't yeah. concentrate on the mark you missed. Mm-hmm. You just reach for another arrow. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares about the mark you missed. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So, But, you know, when you look at what you're bringing to the table now versus what you were about to do in, in football mm-hmm. or whatever, uh, God has a purpose and a plan for your life. Mm-hmm. And it's bigger than what you could even ask or think, and so you 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 walk it in purpose, bro. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's the most important thing. Yes, I, when I see I start talking like this, that's what happened with Derez Deshaun. Mm-hmm. He thought it was dope after I started talking spiritual, but I believe in God, bro. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever put that to the side. It's real I with me. It. You got to have balance. Even if you're doing everything else you're doing, you still need to reach over and get you some God. I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you that. That's some real talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So even though I was cutting up, I might be getting my gun one minute and getting my Bible the next, but mm-hmm. I always I had a balance, man. Yeah, you sound just like my manager. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's my manager, but he really he my uncle too. So. That's dope. That's dope. And I, when I first and he's not even like my real uncle, like he's married in. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So when I first met him, I I watched him go from mm-hmm. your gun, you know, that's right, into preaching in front of people. That's so. right. So now it's just, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got him on my team. Cool. Man, and that's the dopest that's thing, man. Cause so, I'm um, sorry, but um, so you, football, you smoked, got back home. What happened after that? When you when you have everything in front of you and then you go somewhere and you just. You were depressed? No, nah, no. Nah, when, when your whole family, you done got everybody built up. Lay everybody pitch in. You go and do whatever you do, and then mess it up. Just disappoint everybody. Don't nobody want to look out for you when you get back. Mm-hmm. So I got back. Was it hard to face them when you came back? Did you feel any guilt when you came back? I didn't feel. I really, didn't. I just tried to look past it. I didn't really try to dwell on it. None of that. I, I did it. I messed up. I tried to go to another school. Mm-hmm. That didn't work out. And then after a while. Now you're 18, you ain't got no job, you're not in school, you got to come up on some money. And that's street. Yeah, street. That's where Back in the street. Mm-hmm. So. And, 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 that ain't, and, and that ain't far-fetched when it come down to... So many people end up in well, that. Well, you got to realize these are black people. See, mm-hmm. and that's what people don't like to... Brother, it ain't, it ain't odd to me that, that we face different situations because I understand where we came from. So when I see it, and I see some of the strategies that that God uses versus what the what what the devil tries to do to our young black men and our people. Mm-hmm. I know already that 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 there's gonna be a if there's a will, there's a way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't see him winning. I see you winning. I yeah. see God using you to win. So mm-hmm. when you came home, yeah, you had some difficult times, and but it was really just you going through pressured moments so you could be better. Understood. You see what I'm Understood. saying? And that's the good thing. Cause if you don't, what don't kill you make you stronger. Definitely. So that's the, the good I thing. See, I see. I see everything. Like it's, especially like you said, it's us being African American males. It's a, it's the same cycle. Mm-hmm. It's the same cycle. It's the same. So just what you what you do after you take that air, what you do with it after that is what makes that cycle continue. But do I you have you, any kids? Yeah, I have one. 
Boy or girl? Beautiful little boy. Little boy. But you see, you know, we talk about cycles, but at the same time, you have to make it in your mind that I'm going to break this cycle. Understood. Because when you start to have kids, you're like, I don't want my child to go through this. But my son will go. It's going. It might not be the same obstacle I went through, but he's going to come up on an obstacle. Yeah, and, of course. And that's that's going to control the whether he go. There it is. And, and, and that's dope that you realize that because so many many people try to stir the narrative mm -hmm. and you really can't. You got to let people grow and go through what they go head. through, bump their head. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just the truth about it. Um, are you, uh, okay, we're going to get into the music. Yeah, so when did you discover the music? That you, was how a, old that you, you? could rap. Yeah, how uh, old were you? And who inspired you? Was you rapping you? in college? Mm. None of that. I just started rapping like last year. Who inspired Ooh. you? Where, where did it come from? Um, I got a partner named Rosama. Mm -hmm. He on a bunch of songs with me. But uh, he he been rapping since he was like nine years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet him until 2016, though. When I met him, he was the only person I knew that was getting in trouble for standing up on, like, the, the lunchroom tables, acting <laughs> like he's performing, you uh -huh. know. And we just, this is when I got introduced to, you know, I, I'm smoking at this time. So mm -hmm. so I'm you smoking. vibing. Yeah, I'm smoking. I'm chilling, and we, I'll get the freestyle, and he like, you got some. You need to. I'm like, man, whatever, whatever. But I didn't really just take it serious until... What, uh, when when that happened with us, T dot? So like November two years ago, some stuff happened and I ended up getting locked up. But I miss my son. I miss his like his his first real birthday. Birthday. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I miss. Yeah, I mean it was, that's it good. was good. But that's yeah. a lesson right there. My yeah. mom got sick. Grandma got sick. It was like everything was happening. I couldn't do nothing. About but they it. pulled through, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody okay. pulled through. Everything. Everybody was straight. But it was just the fact that. It's like, what you doing? Mm -hmm. You got a little boy. The only thing you care about, you can't even see him on his birthday. Everybody there but you, you got to sit through a video call. That's good. Mm -hmm. And that, that just really messed me up. So That's when I got good. out, I ain't going to lie. I, had, I, I went back and did some dirt, but it, was, it wasn't what I was doing. It wasn't, right. I wasn't hurting nobody. Mm -hmm. I was just coming up on some change. I did what I could do, got my family out of the environment we was in. And the rest of the little bread I had went towards this music stuff. Man, yeah, man, my I miss about three of that boy's birthdays back there. Mm -hmm. it, it, it may, it, that's why I say that's good because that's what changed me. Yeah, see, people he don't he don't even know it, but you know it. Mm -hmm. it, it changed my life when yeah. when you go through stuff, it it'll change you. Yeah. it'll help you. You know, and 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 and, and it great it, it made it to where I was ready for you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, like that that's the whole game, you know, me and my wife been married for twenty years, you know, mm -hmm. going on twenty years. But um the thing I can say is, man, you go through things, God is pruning you, getting you yeah. ready for something even more greater that you don't even understand you're about to meet. Mm -hmm. So those things that you went through, missing your son's yeah. birthday, God's getting you ready for something else. Yeah, that's sure. all it is. And you ain't gonna miss no you ain't gonna miss no more. Yeah, he, nah, uh, yeah you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna be out here. But see, I, I, I like the same stuff you saying. I don't know why, but every time I get locked up, they put me in like a an old head pod. I don't know why. Already. But they do it every time. I guess it's because I'm so big. Like, <laughs> oh, he's gonna have some medical problems. Let's put him yeah. in with these old folks. But uh they were saying the same, same thing, thing, man. Like, man, you can't there's something you can't do. You did what you did to get it yourself in here. You can't think about it, just think about what you're gonna do when you get out. Get out. But you get a lot of knowledge when you're in there with them because one thing Definitely. they always try to give you game. They, I've heard I've heard I'm, so many stories. I'm sitting there talking to y'all like this. I'm 23 years old so already, and, and real fly. And it, it's it, it's sad to say, but a lot of like street knowledge, just any knowledge when it comes to you know what I'm saying that type of stuff, I learned in there. In there, like my pops, he ain't he ain't had me in no trap spot. He ain't do none of it. I stayed in Mesquite when I stayed with my pops. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know a good saying? area and stuff. Yeah, I went, but I. But he was on that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, he always was, but he, you know what I'm saying? He made sure he was good. That's it. Mm -hmm. But so, like, now my mom, she, you know what I'm saying? She had me around there, but my pops ain't had me around there, so. That's why a lot of times it's not some, you know, like, just like when I asked you, I said it was it the environment. But then you have some people who live in that environment and don't end up messing with all of that stuff. You know what I mean? Single mom, I mean, bad environment. I mean, some crazy circumstances, but still don't end up in the streets. Yeah, it's like, I don't blame my mom, but, you know, I don't, I don't blame her because it was like, that's where she had to be. That's where she was making her mm -hmm. bread. That's how she was taking care of me. So I don't blame her for it. But once that nine years old, she couldn't, she couldn't balance what she had going with. This nine year old bad little mm -hmm. boy, and I had an extra. I, I have a parent, so she was like, "Well, let me just go drop him off." And right. it was probably the best. I would have been dead. I would have been dead of life in prison, something like that. 
there's so many people who might be watching who going through children, nine year old watching this because, you know, these kids are on YouTube all yeah. day long. Things pop up. We're not over their shoulders to see what they're watching all the That's time. Good. We can't be. So they could be thinking about suicide. It could be thinking about going on the street. It could be thinking about anything and mm -hmm. something that you say resonate with that child or that adult yeah. that makes them change their way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So never say that my life is boring. You're not the only one going through what you Man. were going through or what you went through. Boss talk. You know really, what I mean? Honest, which is boss your life talk. is to help somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, Understood. and your and your story is dope, story. you know, and you can rap like hell. So <laughs> that's the most important thing, man. For me, you know what I'm saying. You mentioned Ro Ro Sama a while ago. Strange Fruits mm -hmm. is one of y'all songs that y'all got. That's How true. did y'all process that? What was the whole game? Cause that's your that's your road dog. That's the nigga you mentioned. Yeah. You mentioned that nigga like he's the nigga that you rock with. Yeah. Uh, what made y'all work on that song together? Let's talk about Where that. Where did it come from? Uh, I had a uh, just linked up with. Believe it or not, you are gonna hear a bunch of songs from us. Every song, it's never been no, oh, I seen this beat. Now you go, you know, a couple of days, you go right, I'm going to go right, and then we're going to come back. No, I already have mine wrote in the studio, or he already have his wrote, and then we'll just be like, all right, you on this song. <laughs> Straight up. And Straight we, up. we so competitive that I'll be like, all right, bet. And he'll be like, all right, bet. And they go in. And they go in every time, every time. Cause we every got, time. Man, there's so many songs that we got. Yeah. Like, it got to the point where my label was like, Need to stop doing songs with him because so, we want to sign him. You, oh yeah. <laughs> Straight up. So, uh, so you don't punch him. You just basically go in there and write. Yeah, I write. I write everything. That's dope. That's uh, like cause a lot of people say you? they punch in. That's what these I niggas mean, do now. It just, it just depends. Like, just a regular rap song. I probably have it done in thirty minutes. But like now, my label want me to do stuff like, oh, make a twerk song. Last time I tried to make a twerk song, it took me like an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> that's just because that's not my. You that's know what not saying? your avenue. But uh, but it's good to venture off into other zones and come yeah, out of definitely. your comfort zone. Like I got a, I got a, it's like a pop slash hip hop song coming out on the twenty first. I did that in like thirty minutes, bro. His his right is thirty minutes. So you say your label? So you got signed. Uh, it's a distribution deal. Distribution to, deal. The United Masters, yes, sir. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. That's good. You still got, you pretty much got all the leeway to do mm -hmm. things how you want to do just, them. They just, I, I just got a marketing team now. Yeah. I got a team, basically. That's, that's good. good. But I'm still independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. So would you ever sign? You got to be able to take care of me and all my family, and I got to at least still be able to have at least 50% of what's supposed to be mine. That's as far as masters, publishing, at least give me fifty. I don't because I, I don't want all the millions. I don't care about the money. I, that money gonna come. Yeah. Shows, merch. That's all gonna come. So I don't care about what you what it what advance you can give me. I don't care about that. I make my own bread. Yeah. So as long as I get to keep majority of my masters and whatnot, you can give me you can give me three hundred thousand dollars. I don't care about that. Yeah. I know I'm gonna flip that three hundred thousand yeah, dollars. That's yeah, yeah, good yeah, yeah. because some people be like, No, I want I want all my masters, I want this, I want that. You know, but ain't nobody that, to y'all work. working together though. I, I, that don't. That's a. But some of these labels try to get you though. Like some mm -hmm. of these labels, like that's really why right now it's kind of best to go independent and you know through a distribution. Distribution because these labels trying to get people like they want the majority of your masters. They trying to hit like I didn't. I could have been signed for him, but they wanted sixty five percent of my masters. I can't do nothing with that. No, nah, no. Nah. Can't do but at least you're smart enough to know. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. see, a lot of times the other people that were before you didn't have these. You have something to look at. But see, I don't know. I don't. I don't know just because, like, oh, I've been in the music industry. I don't know because no, I know no, no. because yeah, you haven't been there long. I'm. I'm just. Thinking I know. Yeah, it. I know. I know numbers. I know money. Yeah, that don't add up. Yeah, but even then, you hear so many bad stories about people who yeah, yeah, who've yeah. been through all these bad deals. Look yeah. how many bad deals for hip hop artists. You don't hear this on country music and all these other. They yeah. do this to black people. Yeah, I'm being real. Or, or, or the the minority. Mm -hmm. uh, these these trumped up deals where you just getting screwed over. You, you most but time I mean, it's to our people. Yeah, but you got you got to think about it. our people. The ones who just. Just like, they, take it. You offer mm. me what? How many M's? They don't. Right, they're not sure. used to money. Yeah, they're not they're used to come money. on, you know what it is, man. Yeah, they mom and them, man. Our our uh, white constituencies. They 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 have ancestors and they have yeah, land they and they have. They've been doing it. Yeah. It's embedded embedded in them. Mm -hmm. 
And so when you see our our people, they're not leaving the children's stuff like 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 our white constituency, yeah. brother. So we have a lot of learning to do. We have to change the way our thinking is. Definitely. We stop we gotta stop having that stinking thinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to do more. And you look, look, look how you yeah. talking. Like nigga, you ain't forget over on me. Yeah, and nigga, well, I, you ain't forget over on me attitude. I said, I want to end for my son. Ain't no telling what I need. So <laughs> you that the millions, that little million. Okay, yeah, you can come with my son with that, but you gonna have to come. I'm telling you, something that's gonna take. This care nigga of. got the deepest voice we done had on the damn show. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> we, man, we we had no deep voice, and I done had 470 episodes, nigga. Yeah, yeah this nigga it. voice deep as hell. You yeah, gotta come some. Man, some you be on cooking, it though man. in that studio. I know it. Pretty nah, for sure. So when you when you started doing the music and um because at first he said you you really didn't believe in yourself and stuff like that and, and your friend was like no you got some. When was it that you heard yourself and you, you really started like, man, I might got, I, I think uh, I got some. I really started taking music seriously uh, like this same time last year. So like December last year, I was like, you know what? I got I got my family in the apartment. Let me get every, let me let me go and get on this. And so I think I had uh, I wrote a couple songs. I made a little EP. It was just the fact that. I don't know. I guess just I was posting on social media and people was messing with it. Mm-hmm. And so me going from having 10, 15 likes in a week to having 100, 200 likes in a day because I done made a song, that's that's really what's kept me going. Exactly. And then after a while, I started getting paid for it through streams. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid for moving my lips. It's oh, going no, down. It's, it's over with. It it's made you go with. research to find out to make sure that you're doing this correctly because there's a lot of ins and outs to this business. I, I, I didn't, I was just dropping music for the longest. I was every two weeks, I was just trying to drop, 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 drop. I didn't care about nothing else. But now I know, you know, like it's songs I got right now that I'm pretty sure y'all have heard and love. I can't do nothing with. Ha, so, Half mm-hmm. Pint said that you like when you, you, you know, the build up and all that, he mm-hmm. feel like he was a big part of. Yeah. Putting the music out there and and how do you what do you think about that? Half pint. If it wasn't for half pint, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. Really? Straight up. Did he even try? Did he try to sign you? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming because so he, he got didn't it sign, now. Why he didn't sign with him? I mean, he he kind of just like asked me. He was like, uh, he was like, man, you got any deals on the table? And I told him I was like, yeah, I got a couple. I gave him a rundown, and he was like, well, look, don't sign with this label for sure. <laughs> I was like, and I said something, I was like, man, I'm, I'm really waiting on my top off chain. He was like, that's why I was calling him. I was really finna try to see, you know what I'm saying, what I could do. Yeah. But he was like, you already got too much on the table. He was like, just, you know. That's dope. Just, that's yeah. good that he didn't say, nah, forget them, you sign with me. Yeah, nah, nah man, let me tell you something. That's good. Man, he, wanted, he a dope dude, dude man. Yeah, dope dude. and, and real, and, genuine dude. There's not many people like that no that's more. That's right. Mm-hmm. Once people get that money, people change at least a little bit. I don't, half pint probably the same dude. From high school, that just I play the game with him, so I know he play the game. Mm. Me on the sit at home, play the game. When he get that college shoot a video, that's what he gonna do. Yeah, he he ain't no ain't he a genuine who, person. He is. And I, and I thank God that that God brought him into my life because, no, mm-hmm. like I said, he I, been when I didn't have we didn't have hardly no subscribers, mm-hmm. and when I called him and connected with the people, say I think I called Peace. I said, give me that nigga number. The Peace be with him a lot, and, and it was like. And, and, and Pusher Man, man. I, I met Pusher Man at the mall. Mm-hmm. We, before I started this, uh, God mm-hmm. did that too. Because I didn't even, I'm, I didn't know he would top off nothing. He's like, I really rap. I'm like, nigga, whatever. You know, I'm thrilled. I'm yeah. just going to talk. That's what I do. Because he <laughs> don't even look it. And we were just walking. I said, that girl looking at you, nigga. Then we brought her on the show too. It was a girl that with us that day. But then after that, um, anyway, fast forward to Half Paint. Um, when, when, when we reach out to him, all of that whole team, Lil Runny, all of them, they embrace Boss Talk. Um, they love the show, man. And uh, I can pick up the phone and call mm-hmm. those guys, and I know they're going to answer and say, what you need us to do? And that's that's love, bro. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I know that's favor, you know, and, and that, that's how that's how this thing is with me and you. When I, when I did finally connect with you, mm-hmm. I was looking at the genuineness of it and, and, and that it's authentic. Yes, sir. And, and, and that way I know I can love even more. That's mm-hmm. the most important thing. People don't realize – 
when you do something for me, you you don't even know. Yeah, 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 nigga. I'm gonna pull up, nigga. You gonna be in L.A. somewhere, nigga. What is he doing up here, <laughs> nigga? I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I, I think you was in L.A. Uh, one while there, wasn't you? Yeah, I was. I was I've been been to L.A., Atlanta. I've been trying to get a lot going in, man. A lot in. Which one you like the 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 the, the most? <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Atlanta, nigga, you at them yeah. booty club, nigga. Mine, we, we actually ain't go to no clubs. <laughs> you didn't? Man, we we were just in Atlanta. He be in the studio working. Yeah, That's we probably was in Atlanta. We but what in, you, who you was in the studio with? Uh, I was at uh, Doppler Studios. I you been there killing them niggas, don't you? Man, yeah. what? I think we, we went to Atlanta. We was out there for what, four, four days? I was out there for four days. I made, I did two songs a day. My label was like, man, we ain't never had nobody do that. He was in there working. They was like, man, we we bring people out for four days, and they make three songs in, in four days. He was in straight focus, bro. And I was just in there knocking stuff out. And they, and that was the first time they ever had me just writing in, in the studio, like, oh, here's a beat, write to it. Wow. I'm writing the beats I ain't even like just to show them that I could do it. You, you could do it. That was my first trip. I felt like I had something to prove. Yeah. So, How hard is it to write to a beat that you don't like? It's one of those hour thirty minutes, you know? <laughs> but but they they flew out uh, um, a, a producer that I actually really like He's from Memphis named Trash Bag Beats. Mm. So any of my songs you're gonna hear, Trash Bag Trash Bag Beats is him. What about him you like so much? His just, he got soul. I'm a, I'm a like my pops oh, he a, he a real. R and B old, so I grew up on Isley Brothers. But that nigga be hitting. You ain't listen to that music, ooh. But that nigga yeah, got some I, hooks in there. Saying our souls, like the soul, just connect. He older though. He older. I'm 23, but it's be it be times I don't even like his beats. It just be the samples he pick. I go on his YouTube channel, be on there all day. Oh. What a talent to the Man, that's that's love, man. I, I like that. <clears throat> I know sure. I'm gonna get me some soul from this, this young cat. So if you talk about sure. soul, would there be a soul artist? Um, R&B artist that you would like to collaborate one day and if so who that's a good question Cause I know you mentioned Isley brother but I mean I probably wouldn't just like actually collab is he a sample but I definitely sample oh, okay I've done a lot I've done a lot that's I got so many songs right now uh, I yeah I listen drop. to them Oh, not because they got samples because yeah, they got sample. like some of those you gotta get them approved some of those right? are, but they won't Brands. <laughs> I'm talking about racks, two hundreds of thousands for some of them, like the Mr. Trouble ones. Yeah. Oh man, they probably gonna take that one down in a minute because it done did, it done ran up so much numbers. They that whole go hard to though. That. Boy, that whole mm -hmm. go hard. Yeah, my label they won't even let me touch the money for that. They won't. It's, uh, it's just sitting on my account. They say yeah, I can't because touch they the gonna yeah they because they gonna try to sue for it. But mm -hmm. whenever they try to sue, you they settle. just want to be able to give it right back to them. Mm -hmm. Like look, we ain't even touched it. It but, was before we signed them. Wow. But I would I, I see some good like just thinking about what you're saying where where that is concerned because in my mind at first when you said it I'm like so why even mess with it if no, you know that it's, it's going but then it's building you it's putting eyes on you it's making people see Man, you. I've, I've been telling I before the for the labels anything was even hitting me up I was telling my manager I don't I don't care about this money right now. I care about building because that money is going to come. That's right. right. As long as I can stay afloat right now, that money going to come. It's going to come. You can't. It's too much money in the world for it not to come. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So all I care about right now is building relationships and building my platform. But I love what I love that. But I've met so many people in the music industry, especially when they're just starting up, mm -hmm. that they're like, they care about the money because they're like, man, I got bills to pay now. I got people to feed now, so I need the money now. You know what I mean? I mean, that's understood. I mean, you got to. <laughs> you got to. I mean, I'll, I'll be, you got to. You can't. You got to invest in yourself, though. So yeah. You got to figure something out. And that's where a lot of people that actually be good at music end up messing themselves up because they out here trying to do this to get this money Paper for the studio money. time. Mm -hmm. How did I mess themselves off? So. Big true. X the plug. How did you come up with that? I was gonna ask that ne ask that question, but I'm like, okay, but he's big, he might be the plug. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean, he got he's gonna get that question. I'm gonna yeah, ask that question. I, I, yeah, I'm, I get it a lot. Uh, I'm big. <laughs> My name start with an X. Okay. And 
around the time I was the plug. Hey. <laughs> hey. But I've been trying to get the plug taken out for the longest. No, nah, leave it alone, man. Yeah, they tell me to leave, leave it alone. Yeah, man. it's not. It's, it's unique. Because it's very I, unique. And that's be, part of the reason I went to jail that, that night. Yeah. No, but it could be, you could you'd plug for the music, bringing a different kind of music in. Like, <laughs> He's like, nah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the reason I went to jail that night in Irving. Uh, he saw my, my my bling and my car, and he was like, man, what you do? I told him I was a rapper. He asked me what my rap name was. I told him Big X to plug. He said, oh, I know what you do. He and said that. After that. It went wow. left after that. Wow. Yeah, I had my gun that was in my name. I had a little bit of weed, and they ran with it. Unlawful care. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. But you, you, you we going to be all right. Yeah, they, the, the the guns. I mean, I'm, they might take me. They, I might have to take some classes or something for the little weed, but I ain't nothing to a giant dog. But don't when do you have under a certain amount, it that that can't mess with you or something? No, I, I just mean, believe in. I believe in God. I don't yeah. even think about that stuff like y'all do. No, no. It, was, it was just selling. the fact that I had. Because I mean, he broke it down to me. It made sense. I whether I had a, it could have been a guard splitter, any type of. As long as you have the gun and that at the same time, yeah, it it, was, it's, it's. If I would have just had the gun in my car smell like weed, I was good. Okay. But it was the fact that I still had some type of pair for me. Mm -hmm. I yeah. understand. He, he, did, he did the job. Yeah. You got a good attitude about it. I'd have been mad as hell. <laughs> I'm not going to jail tonight. Well, I nigga. mean, when. I mean, now, nah, if I was still. I ain't going to lie. If I was still broke, I would be mad. <laughs> I'd have been mad. I'd be like, man, God damn, my last couple of dollars I had. <laughs> but man, I, I wasn't tripping. Like no, that. I wasn't tripping. Like that. Feeling like Dennis? What, what? What? How was the process of that? Man, it looked fun. It really, it really was just. I don't know. I don't know if y'all think I'm making these songs. It just be fireworks in the studio. It just be normal. Like I linked up with a. Uh, uh, you ever heard of Radio Raheem? Yeah, that's yeah. my boy. Yeah. That's yeah. where I, that's where that's, I, that's my boy. That's the studio I got to. Never satisfied studio. That's, that's my I, guy. That's where I record all my music. Me and him been mm. rocking out for a long time. Telling you, man, he, he gonna tell you, yeah, man, that's, that's a good that's dude. A good dude Before too. all this, yeah, no, nah, for sure. Just we just at the airport all the time. We got stuff where we was at the airport. I'm like, well, I'm going over here. You remember right there, right? Mm -hmm. like, he like, I'm going over here. We always just see each other. But yeah, that's who uh, that's who studio I go to. LinkedIn with an engineer named Dialogue. Um, first time I ever went. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the mother of my child, her cousin, he called me up one day. I was like, man, uh, I need y'all to come perform in the South. I'm like, all right, bitch. I pull up. He drunk. He like, man, the performance is off, but I want to take you to the studio. He took me to the studio. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I seen every. This is my first time being in the real studio. This is my first time not being in somebody's closet. Mm -hmm. So I played some of my music. We, we linked up. He was like, man, come back whenever. I came back the next day. I made Strange Fruits, and we made another song called COVID-19, Me and Ro. Okay. We made them two, came back like a week later. I made, because uh, Strange Fruits went crazy. Yeah. So I had to go and get uh, like a service pack for Strange Fruits. When I went and got the service pack, paid $60 for an hour for him to give me the service pack and an hour of studio time, and I made it feeling like Dennis. Hey. Yeah. So it just, the rest of history. Yeah. It, it don't you got to say the rest of history. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's yeah. over, man. Like I, I, I see you doing big things, bro. For sure. Like for sure. huge things. Like, um, I, I, I'm surprised. You know, uh, Rick Ross, Puff Daddy, and them. They mm -hmm. see it, man. Ain't no way they don't see it, bro. I mean, it's, it's a couple people on this wall that been reached out. Power Wall reached out. Yeah. Uh, Who's the biggest person that reached out that surprised you? Uh. I mean, take he freestyle. Oh, oh, uh, Cause we've heard so many stories that um, people say that like this person called and they said their name and they hung up on them because it's like, nah, they playing, they playing. That it ain't that person type of thing. Yeah, I got DM'd by uh, uh, J Prince Jr. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I didn't believe that, but he, yeah, that's he dope. Me. I, when he got out, I was like, welcome home. He was like, appreciate you. I, I I asked him, look, what I got to do to be monetized out here? What do you say? He said, just keep doing what you're doing. Have you wow. met him in person yet? I haven't met him in person. But just that. That's that's that's, that's motivation. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. Is. That's motivation. That's sure that you're on the right track. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Big stepper. Yes, sir. What's up with that? Man, I'm just a big dude. And if you mess with me, you get stepped on. It's, hey. it's all just selfish. I'm not no, you know, I'm not no. You ain't got to think too much into nothing about me, man. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of the songs. So your songs and, are and they very self-explanatory. Yeah, it's, 
every song is either somebody done be it's it's how so it's, 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 it just be easy to talk about. Big X, big step, it, and I'm Big X, and I done stepped on numerous people. So let's make a song about it. So whenever you make, make a song, good. is it um, something that you're going through at that moment in time? Because like somebody play a beat, and because something you just ha- just happened, you be like, okay, let me put this on paper, or uh, it's something old. Well, so like right now, I, I mean, I'm not doing that right now, but getting money, I ain't doing no dirt. So it's I don't really I can't really talk about what I'm doing now. So I talk mm-hmm. about you reach back in your bag. Yeah, I gotta talk about what I did before. I miss my son's birthday. Hey, that sound good to everybody. Mm. <laughs> I know, I know. After a while, it's gonna get to the point where, cause I'm tired of hearing it. I don't know how y'all ain't tired. Of, I'm tired of hearing about Big X shooting at people, no. stepping on yeah. people. See, and I was that. just about to ask that question because um, negativity mm-hmm. sells in this world. It does. So, you know, and a lot of people, you know, they want to put some positive, but when you put a positive, it's like you don't get as much ratings or as mm-hmm. much streams or whatever. So how do you battle that? And are you ever going to do more positive stuff? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely transitioning right now to just talking about just having a better life. You know, when, you ha- when you're having more, you tend to, you can't, I heard Key Glock say one time, at an interview at Never Satisfied, he was like, man, I got, I got too much money now. I can't talk about what I used to do. Mm-hmm. That, that's not me no more. Yeah, if y'all want to hear about somebody that's struggling, that's still shooting, that's still robbing, then you go listen to this dude. <laughs> but if you want to hear about a nigga who's getting money, oh, excuse me, but if you want to mm-hmm. hear about somebody that's getting money and that's really having it and that's talking about, I just went and bought this chain and this chain the same week and this show, and you know what I'm saying. That's what I'm. That's what I'm ready to talk about. Right. I'm yeah. ready to be talking about how I'm going up, because that's when you find out. You know what I'm saying. You, you find out. That's when people are gonna start hating. I think just, you just need to stick with what 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 what, what you feel inside. Yeah, that too. That be too. true to yourself. Like, you know, because I don't know. It's just something about that connection with that yeah. that I think is going to resonate with people well. For sure. Uh, but it's like after I don't, I don't know because I, I don't like. I hate being repetitive, and I feel like all these songs I just been repetitive. Yeah, but people saying, look at numbers but though. I'm, yeah, I'm just making it. I'm, I'm saying the same stuff that I'm pretty sure half the people come on your show. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the same stuff. I'm just groovier with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I mix more stuff with it. Like your I style mix, is different. Yeah, that, that's that's really it. And my voice deeper. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Go other, hard though. Other yeah, than that, I ain't hard. really doing too much different. I don't like that. I don't like because I feel like I can separate myself so much more yeah but i'm kind of closed into this box where i got to talk about this but you right have now. to gradually get into because first you got to get everybody's eyes on you and everybody oh, yeah, fall in course. love with you and then you can't just turn around and just change all of a sudden no, you have no, to understood. like that's what i was wondering I'm like how can you put a little bit of it in your songs currently and mix it so you gradually you know uh well i mean i like dropping january 21st so i think we're gonna see a little bit of that in there because yeah. like i said it's a mixture of pop hip-hop i ain't really talking about all the other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's, I actually like the song. So, well, is that you. your favorite song that you've ever done? No, no. What's your favorite song? It's called. Uh, it'll probably be a song called New Day or Prime Time, and neither one of them now. Prime Time. And why are they Prime your favorite Time. song? What's, what's up with Prime Time? Man, you gonna love it, bro. That's the, that's the name of my new channel. Yeah, new it's channel. Called, it's called, called Prime Boss Time. Boss Talk One Hundred One Prime Time. Man, I need I, that prime yeah, time. I'm trying to play it for you. It might be the little. Send it to him so he can yeah, hear it. We want to hear it. We don't have to put it out if you don't want us to put it out. Well, well we ain't gonna put it out. Oh, yeah, yeah send, it right send it to him. Now, but you know the, the the thing is, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we definitely if you do us an intro or whatever, we gonna play mm-hmm. that whole every mm-hmm. episode. See, and so many moments. people don't even. I did. How many did I do? I did uh, fourteen million streams uh, in one month. From this channel, what? yeah. Overall, when you look at World Star, mm-hmm. Vlad, um, according to the numbers that was researched, That's in one crazy. month we did that. Uh, we hit all stream when we went viral, but everybody heard my intro song. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Think about uh, that for a minute. Oh, I'm trying to airdrop it. I don't know. Where, Your phone? Uh, where's, where's my phone? I got a couple of them. Somebody, yeah, I know. It's like Darius's iPhone. No, no. Who the hell is Darius? He outside. He ain't in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. Where's my phone at? See, I when probably you, still should have sent it to him. Darius huh? <laughs> would have got that one, been happy as hell. Mm, he'd have been tapped in for sure. And what's this song that you play? Because 
our son told us about a song that went so hard that you dropped on um, Half Pint. A Half Pint played it. What hey, song was that? It's New Day. That's the one I just told you. One of my favorites. Yeah, man. See, everybody airdrop <laughs> stuff now. That's yeah, all yeah, everybody yeah. do. Airdrop and FaceTime. That's it. <laughs> I'll be so tired of both of these phones. Man, See, I'm an Android phone. person. I don't do the iPhone thing. If I could, I would go back to Android, but mm, I get called Android now. I'm going to be all in the blogs for sure. <laughs> man, it's that serious, man. Are you uh-uh. serious? It's like it's it's the iPhone serious. is a thing. Like, if you don't have an iPhone, it's yeah. like you're not doing it. If you get caught with a brand new pair of J's on an Android, they're going to talk about you. No. <laughs> well, they probably been talking about me. I get excused because I'm old. Because you're old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once you're a certain age or you look a certain age, you get a pass. Yeah, I, I, I got, but wow. I got two iPhones and an Android. Yeah, no, they definitely and they probably think you selling dope. They probably, <laughs> <laughs> they probably think you selling dope. This man. world is messed up, it bro. Is, but hey, you can you can blame my generation. Wow. You <laughs> What's your top generation? three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Any genre. All time, Any top time. three. Number one. Number one, I'm going to have to say uh, Lil Wayne, man. Lil Wayne? I'm going to have to say Lil Wayne. I grew up on that dude. All three of you niggas say they, Lil they Wayne. They're shaking their head like. I know my son loves Lil my Wayne. Mama, my mama loves Lil Wayne. And that's too. your number one, number one. That's my number one. Of okay. all time. All time. Up until Better than Jay Z and all of them? I never listened to them. Never but listened to Jay Z. Any Wayne. genre. And, you never right. listen to Jay Z. Uh, Is no. rap the only genre you listen to? You who, no, oh, don't you don't like no Pac okay. or nobody. I mean, hold on, he, Pac might be number two or three. Because he said he ain't never listen to them niggas. Man, this nigga going from Lil Wayne on down. Hold on. Damn. Nah, 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 I'm just kidding. That's cool. <laughs> now don't don't let me sway you. I want you to give me your top three of all time I'm from your heart, of, bro. I, I got you. I'm going off of what I grew up on. Okay, number two. Lil Wayne. Oh, you're gonna have to put the Isley Brothers as one. Okay. And oh, you then, you change genres. Yeah, you say all genres. Right, right, right. So who's number one? Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Okay, mm-hmm. number two is. I was saying, uh, can you put the Isley no. Brothers all in one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All okay, in one, the you group. Got the Isley mm-hmm. Brothers, and then. Man, this is where it always gets harder. It always gets harder than number three. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm call me south what you want. I'm gonna go with a bond, man. Hey, oh, yeah, boy, that's, oh, that's nice. I can read your mind, nah, baby. <laughs> hey, man, I almost did it. I'll do it. <laughs> so, do you do, can that, you sing? Do, 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 do you is you like the ride wave? You can the ride wave, a uh, uh, ride wave. Uh, now that's uh, my boy, though. I don't get me wrong. I, ride wave, uh, 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 Deshaun, Murray, T Rail, T Rail. These boys got uh, listen, Mo three. I can show you my playlist right now. It's all ride wave. You, you like that ride with? Nah, I mean, I, I, we just be, it's like what he be talking about. I was going with. through here yeah, now, nah, for real. Because so. that deep voice that you have, I just keep feeling like you can sing with I that can deep carry, voice. My, my pops can sing. All my sisters can sing. I can carry a note. I don't think I can sing. But Carl Crawford you said the other night that, that ride wave. I have before. I have before. Carl was saying that ride wave the other night. Like, uh, they, they, they millionaires. They sing about that pain, boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Ride wave, ride wave. Crazy. Everybody think he a cry baby. <laughs> For real. They don't like I be listening to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my partners, they, they, they hate when they get in the car with me because he going to play it. You going to play that right He going to play it. So for before Lil Wayne, or any before of that. anybody, man, I'm liable to get in my phone. Don't let the Bluetooth connect because this is going to start playing. <laughs> who, was, who was his number three? I, I'm slipping. Number three, Avant. Avant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay, so we got Lil Wayne, Isley Brothers, Brothers, and Avant. I had to mm-hmm. say that, man. Thank you for that. Um, so how can people get a hold of you if they're looking for you, if they're trying to reach out to you? Everything at Big X to Plug, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. If you're trying to get a feature, any of that, Big X to Plug at Yahoo.com. Everything Big X to Plug, man. Tap in. Man. Are you active on Twitter? <sighs> You know, See, I, 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 if I get a notification, I go retweet. I go hard, but I ain't. I don't just go on there and just post every day. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that, that don't make sense to me. But a lot of people be on there doing. They do. Stuff. I, I don't get. I made a sandwich. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it was good. Uh, do you want to get into some acting? Oh, definitely. I want man. Once I get there, 
I'll never be broke. They done already messed up. I'll never be broke they again. They shouldn't open the door. They, they cracked it, let you see what again. was inside. It's on. It's on. Because I'm a, I'm a hustler. So you done, like now, you done gave me a legal path of hustling. Man, I'm finna start. Of Kennels, man, I'm, everything. everything, man, this finna be my year. I, this is my year. I, That's the funny thing. I always wonder why a lot of these people, you know, who be on the streets hustling and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Why don't they turn that illegal hustle into a legal hustle? I mean, some of them do. They just, it'd be, it be too late. By the time they want to make it legal. And or they just don't know how to. I mean, yeah, or, or they just like fast money. Some people don't want to invest their money into their business and have to wait for their money to come back. Some mm-hmm. they they like fast money, and some people some people do it. Some people do it and still be still in the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all kind of ways. This world, yeah. this life thing is something else. It hits you nah, it and is. dead in your forehead and be like, "Nigga, come on with it." That's what <laughs> life do you. And you is a fool. <laughs> when you come on with come it. On with <laughs> it. How old is your son? He's three. He's three. Already, man. Do you want more? It's not right now. <laughs> right now. Once I'm. So I'm nice and, and wealthy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you'll have about ten. You have about ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I I think we did we did it we did anything else you got for my guy here, Big X the plug? No, not right now. You you wore him out. See, this no, why this I be, is sixteen the next time though. We definitely get no, some for sure, for sure, time. for sure. That was the most important part. For I me didn't want to get in here and and and, and do myself because y'all the first per- people that was ever asked for. Uh, I'm going to always ask. Right. So, you know, because we're the only people, the first people that ever ask. So that means that if you have we any other first. interview, you need to come back here first before you go to anybody else and do a 16. No, nah, for sure. You can come I, back I, tomorrow. I, I told you I don't even do interviews no more. I, I put a whole hold on interviews. Really? The only reason I even did this was because, for one, you had been reached out. Yeah. And for two, like a lot of people when I say boss talk when I want they like, yeah, man, you should do that. You should do that. Man, go on with it, man, because we good <laughs> people over here. Right? Have you Mine, watched sure. any of our shows? I watched them once, like probably like a couple of days ago. I started. I gotta them. go on there. Yeah, what like, did you think? What did you think? think? I mean, I got, if I would have seen them on half pound, I probably would have been a lot, like a lot of really. Been, I don't yeah. really know. I don't really know. Some, Some of the people. people. Yeah, right. yeah, type deal. Well, you know, I probably the only one got. Uh, I don't know if you heard of Prophecy Films. He's uh, he, he, and he's he right over videos. in Pleasant Grove too. Yeah, he does videos. Uh, uh, never anything heard of. music industry. Never heard of. I don't. I just found out who Coach Drake was. I don't mm. even know who is uh, who, Coach Coach who Coach Drake. I don't know Coach Drake. I'm not on it like that. Oh, he some big dude from the Grove. He he he's just a good source. I so guess. So do I need to get him on here? Definitely. I definitely think you should. Coach Drake. See, and, I don't oh, know you, Coach Drake. And his I'm voice be might be deep in the mind. I'm lame. <laughs> I'm a lame dude sure. over here. I don't know everybody like that, but I done had some good guests on this thing, man. Yeah, nah, he, My yeah. boy, uh, shout out Faze on Love to come through, and, and he on Vlad this week. Uh, uh, That's who my manager. <laughs> what he <laughs> say? My manager said, yeah, man, you're going to be on Boss Talk, man. They just had Faze on Love. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, you just showed how old you was. Right yeah, there. Nah, that boy big word, man. Love, man. <laughs> but he, he did a good job, man. And and like I said, all of the guests we had Carl Crawford, we had KLC, we had we got Taylor and them this weekend, man. It's going down, man. This year is going to be great. I know Not God sure. is He going to continue to bless us for our second year. Uh, we got a, a Boss Talk podcast, one on one prime time. There's a whole nother channel that's. Gonna be a dope look. You are gonna see it. You gonna be so like, y'all need to go and different. check it out. Go to YouTube and look up Boss Talk Podcast One Hundred and One Prime Time, so you don't miss out on any we of the new it. stuff that we're putting over there. Because we're not putting anything that's on Boss Talk on Prime Time. So that's y'all right. need to be on both. There you go, man. You are gonna love it, man. The movement gonna be dope, right? Yes, sir. You won't see us over there much either. But we got people that's gonna be over there killing it, and we're gonna support them all the way. Yes. For sure. It's all about putting people on, right? No, nah, for sure. <laughs> so so for we sure. gotta put everybody on. That's mm-hmm. when I pulled up in this game. I'm like, oh, they I can do a, two or three of them, get everybody on different Man, cities. I think that's why my I think that's why my the people that surround me mess with me so tough, because like that's all I talk about is how I'm finna what we finna do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you can ask him. Like, I man, I, I've been talking about it's going down. Man, it's the year. So anytime you're doing anything and you want us to try to put eyes on it, you got us as a source for sure. For sure. Anything you need, we here for you. Once we get you, we got you. 
Yes, sir. Half pain to tell you that. Mm -hmm. We 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 got you. Once we get you, and I call and give you hell. You better not answer. I might say anything. You like that dude crazy? You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I say some stuff that I just keep it real. I don't I don't fake yeah. and shake. What you I'm see sure. is what you get. So. Mm -hmm. You, if I say it, it's coming from a place where yeah, I know, that's what that nigga really mean. Yeah, I know he ain't had no 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 harm behind it. No, no, no I'm be sure. trying to figure out a way to make it to where we can make sure. make it to the next level. That's it, man. Yes, sir. So we love you, bro. Yes, sir. Big extra plug. I love y'all too. I love you boss always talk. come on Boss Talk One Hundred and One with a boss's talk, man. Nah, for sure. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And we out.